Oh, hello, this is Steve. Hey, Steve, this is Max. I have a very specific question. Uh, I oh. think you're a good, good candidate to answer it. Where's my turtle? So this... All right, yes, exactly. What? So, uh, um, it looks like nowadays, maybe last year or two, there is a big transformation in, uh, in the internet, and the internet is being taken over by, uh, by big powers. Yes. So there is a lot of censorship and uh, a yeah. lot of manipulation of how we find the information and, and how the information is fed to us and even more specifically to the wide masses. Correct. And it looks like it's happening not only by uh, will of specific people, but it's more like a system is taken over by something bigger than individuals. Yeah, the cabal. Yeah. I was thinking that maybe it's even bigger than the cabal. Maybe there is some uh, spiritual entity behind it. Well, uh, yes. Because there is a spiritual entity that controls the cabal, of course. But... Right. Um, I, and that's not a good entity, believe me. But um, the thing is about what's going on is they're paying these companies big bucks to present their agenda and to uh, quietly cancel out uh, some of their opposing, opposing agendas. So they won't cancel all of them out. They won't cancel all of them out because... That's far too obvious. But they're going to cancel out the, the ones that are uh, abusive toward them. Let's put it that way. They're, if somebody says something very abusive toward their agenda, that will quietly go away. But people will complain that they don't have that... They, that video or whatever has disappeared but it's gone because they offended the person that's paying for their propaganda to be presented now of course they're not going to take it all off that would be far too obvious but all right guess what so they're going to highlight theirs they're going to put it as the video of the day, they're going to put it as one of the 10 best videos. They're going to put it as uh, featured videos. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to feature their agenda. They, it may not, it may be mixed up with, up, up with about 10 other different things, but theirs is going to be featured. Uh, talking about the videos, uh, it looks like there is too much to weird attention to the trees this day. I love trees and I love forests, but uh, it looks like there is lots of poorly made information about uh, the, and the videos and photographs about the fires and uh, propaganda for planting trees, but the quality of propaganda makes me suspect that it is done by the bad guys because yeah. it's not done properly it doesn't have the right vibration right exactly what they're doing is say that what they're doing is they're destroying the tree population and that's done from an alien perspective because the aliens are trying to terraform your planet into a non-breathable place for their own agenda so they're taking away the trees that make the oxygen that humans breathe so that they can come and be here and be, uh, breathe the air. They're, they're terraforming with um, different kinds of, uh, what is it called? Those things in the sky, what are they called? Uh, uh, trails. Mm -hmm. The vapor trails are filled with chem trails, yeah. Chem yeah, trails. chemicals, and they're not, they're actually helping to also terraform the atmosphere. They're taking away the oxygen with the trees. They're, they're having, uh, tr they're not giving proper information about 
planting trees and how to make them most uh, welcoming to the planet. They're going to, and they're, and so subsequently, the trees will not prosper and not get very big. So it's going to be that they're trying to terraform the planet in several different ways. Also by the release of uh, these different uh, wavelengths, the G5s and the G4s and, and all these different wavelengths are also poisonous to the atmosphere and poisonous to humans. So uh, if they can poison out the humans then and get rid of them little by little, because these G5 waves, 5G, whatever they're called, they're, they can cause cancer. And so a lot of people will uh, succumb to that. So, or it will cause brain damage or whatever. So they'll, so they'll get rid of some humans that way. They'll get some rid of some humans in every different little way that they have planned. So it's a, it's a very uh, subtle but interesting plan to just terraform and get rid of humans. So what is this negative uh, spiritual entity which uh, drives the internet? I don't know. What do you want to call it? You want to call it uh, n it's negativity, it's evil, whatever you want to call it. There, it's not just one. Is it some alien race or is it? It's not one kind. They're working together. They're, they're the Zeta reptilians, the Zeta grays, the insectoids. These are the ones that have, uh, they can breathe similar kinds of air and so breathe similar kinds of atmosphere. So they will try to make it as close to breathable to their atmosphere as possible until the humans are gone and then they'll finish off the project. All right, I was under the impression that uh, Blue Avians and, uh, uh, they and are the Spheres and the Golden Triangles. They're helping as much as possible keeping these beings out but uh, they they can't they can't do everything they can't they've been taking chemtrails out of the sky they've been trying to replace some of the water that was taken they were tr they're trying to uh, uh, stop the polar caps from melting there's the the bees from being taken out I'm, so, I'm sorry not the water, but the bees. There has been water taken as well, but there, the bees are, were taken, so the pollinization is much less. And they're trying to stop the fires. They're trying to stop the earthquakes. So they're trying to keep the polar, uh, the, the pole from uh, turning, because uh, that happens every several hundred thousand years, the, the poles tw uh, turn. and they're trying to keep those intact. So they're fighting off many different things all at once. And the bad guys know what they're doing. They're, they're uh, putting in their little jabs here and there, starting fires, uh, injecting uh, chemtrails, doing this, doing that. And the good guys don't know all of what the bad guys are doing because they just can't see it all at once. And then when they discover something, they start working on removing it. I see. So the, the fires, are they made by humans or by, by the aliens? They were made by lasers. From, from, by human lasers or alien lasers? Alien lasers. I see. These are, this is the greatest forest fire in the Nile area that's ever been recorded. This is where most of the breathing air on Earth comes from. I was under the impression that much of the breathing air is 
made by the C V C uh, single cell C V. It can be a lot of that, but the tree population that makes most of the air or oxygen is in the Nile rainforest area. I see. Mm -hmm. All right, I've read it out of time. So, is there anything else you can uh, can share on that topic? Uh, not right now. I'm. I, I I've told you everything I know, pretty much. I actually I could go in to other things, but I don't think you have the time. Right. So yeah, I'm 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 even more worried about the ecology of internet rather than ecology of the planet because I think. The internet is the, the main hope of the humanity, and if it is hacked, then we are doomed. Yes, well guessed. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> pretty much hacked. All right. All right. Thank you very much, and uh, talk to you later. Yeah, it was very later. helpful. Later. Later. Hello? Hey, Jim, welcome back. Hey. Ooh. That was intense. Okay. Yes, it was. All right. How are you doing? Good. Good. All righty then. I will talk to you later then.